This is Scott Becker with the Becker Private Equity and Business Podcast. Today's discussion is President Trump can't come up with the money. Three key points. First, President Trump lost a New York civil case brought by the state's attorney general against him on the premise that he violated fraud statutes by defrauding certain lenders, in this case, really Deutsche Bank, by inflating the value of his assets. Um, and, and the concept being because the value of the assets was inflated, uh, that the interest that was charged him was lower than it otherwise would have been. So that's the premise of the case. I think he lost the judgment for $355 million. That judgment with interest penalties and a lot of other things on top of it is about $454 million. Uh, so that's sort of point one, that case brought up by the state against him even though all those lenders got paid back fully, and even though those lenders negotiated with President Trump in good faith. The second point is to appeal the judgment. And you have to remember, President Trump was also appealing another judgment based on a sexual abuse case where he posted a bond of about $91 million. To appeal this case, he's got to come up with $454 million, which is a crazy amount. And what his lawyers are saying, or what his teams are saying, is that no insurer will write that kind of, of, of bond. And I'm not surprised by that because insurers aren't really built to write $454 million bonds. And it's in, no matter how you want to look at it, Trump feels like one of these kind of characters out of some kind of movie where you're a little bit afraid to lend him the money because you don't know that you'll actually get paid back or not. Uh, is how it feels, at least, particularly with the power he has, maybe the power of being president again. It's a very complicated set of scenarios with him. So the first point is he, he's got a, a judgment against him, $355 million plus another $100 million in penalties, interest, et cetera. Second, to appeal it, he needs to come up with that $454 million, and he can't come up with it. The third is the complicated financial situation that Trump finds himself in. He always raves about being so wealthy and so successful. It's part of his charisma. It's part of how he tries to braid himself as being so successful. I think many of us that are truly business people get very scared by the amount he takes, the debt he takes on. Uh, we have a hard time believing he's actually as rich as he says he is. And when you see something like this happen, where he's going to come up with four hundred fifty-four million, which it, which itself is truly an insane amount of money. I mean, if you look at the the entire world, there are probably about fifteen thousand people in the entire world that are worth more than five hundred million dollars, if that. Trump was always proclaimed to be worth two to four billion dollars. Uh, five hundred million dollars is still a ton of money, even if you're worth two to four billion dollars. But it certainly is not pocket change for him. And it, and it sort of just fascinating to watch this whole thing. It's very much like a Greek tragedy. The case against him in this case, and I believe President Trump is probably guilty of many things, probably not guilty of other things. This itself was a ridiculous case. It's almost going after Al Capone for income taxes. I mean, I think this was really an abusive process case. Now, that stated, the fact that it's so hard for him to come up with money it is very interesting given the storyline he's always played that he's so rich and so successful. Now, the third thing that somebody said to me today, well, can't he do a GoFundMe? And the fact that he's running for political office probably makes that itself very hard and very complicated because you're not allowed to give money to a candidate except for under certain limits and not really for personal use. So it's sort of he's got himself sort of in between a rock and a hard place, which is the old phrase that was used in my generation a long time ago. Some of you, I'm sure, know what that means. But in any event, we did a podcast yesterday on, on President Biden's ridiculous $7.3 trillion budget, which is the same with the country $34 trillion in debt. Uh, this situation here where President Trump, it, it really does feel in some ways like the emperor has no clothes, even though the case itself was an abusive process. I do think it started to show President Trump as an emperor without clothes because he really doesn't have the money he said he had. But this is an outrageous amount of money. Let's not understate that. In any event, what a fascinating set of circumstances. It's like watching a Greek tragedy, a soap opera, everything you could think of. Fascinating to watch. Thank you for listening to the Becker Private Equity and Business Podcast. Thank you so much. 773-766-5322. If you're the first person to text me and you don't, you know, just spam my inbox because somehow I don't know you love President Trump and you're so upset about this podcast, which I think is a very even-handed podcast. I will send you a $100 gift certificate 
Uh, but you got to be the first person. You can't be someone who's come to get a certificate recently. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you very much.